was lovely uh, the way I was introduced there. It's a lovely thing to get used to in a job when somebody says your name and people clap and cheer. It's really nice. <laughs> it was a bit weird at the doctor's the other day. Because <laughs> no one fucking clapped. <laughs> Every time I said clap, I think they thought that's what I had. <laughs> But I was having a bit of a faff on Twitter backstage. Give us a cheer if you're on Twitter. <laughs> it's fun, isn't it? Can be fun. It's also a little bit weird sometimes. Got a message from a fella a few weeks ago. He said, I've got a bit of spare time on me hands and I don't know whether to watch some porn or you. <laughs> that struck me as being quite odd. I don't really know anything about porn, but from what I can gather, it's sort of fantasy, isn't it? Sort of unachievable things. Isn't it? <laughs> Whereas I put myself firmly in the bracket of achievable. <laughs> so that man's fantasy is a middle-aged, slightly overweight woman who just witters on. <laughs> just wander around Asda, there's hundreds of me. <laughs> Look along the end of your sofa, you might well be fucking married to one of me. <laughs> But I live in a flat, I live in a block of flats, and I came out the front door a few months ago and there was just a shoe on the pavement. You've all seen that happen, just a lone shoe. And you just think, yeah, I wonder what happened there. <laughs> and then you carry on with your day, which is exactly what I did. But a week goes by and the shoe is still there. It's now joined by a man's shirt. <laughs> a couple of days after that, same shoe, same shirt, pair of man's pants. <laughs> now that is one woman just really slowly dumping her boyfriend. <laughs> Am I going to come out in six weeks' time? There's going to be a big pile of clothes and just a severed cock on the top. <laughs> I mean, I haven't dumped anybody in a while. Is that still how we do it, girls? Is it? Yes, it is. Oh, good to know. Thank you. <laughs> but I decided about, probably about six months ago now, to try to sort of better myself. And I'm not really bothered about losing weight, but I quite like the idea of getting fit. So I thought I'd get myself an exercise DVD. Now, you know when your partner goes shopping and they say, do you want anything? And they want you to say no, but instead you give them a list. <laughs> I love doing that. Sometimes I just make shit up I don't even need. <laughs> just to say the look on his face. He looks at the list and he goes, what's the difference between a tangerine and a satsuma? <laughs> it's a test. So I said, could you get us an exercise DVD, please? Just a basic one, like a, a bog standard, like a beginner's guide. And he said, no problem. And he came home with Davina's Buff Your Abs. <laughs> and I thought, well, I'm going to have to lose three stone before I can find me fucking abs. <laughs> so I took it back to the shop and I swapped it for the one that I wanted, which was, you know, just fat lass has a go. <laughs> For the sequel, Fat Last Tries Again. <laughs> and I watched the first few minutes, and you know how it's always a celebrity and a trainer, isn't it? Because the celebrity's the one that sells the DVDs, and the trainer's the one that knows what they're doing. I watched the first few minutes, they were both laughing at nothing, it was very unnerving. And the trainer said to the celebrity, <laughs> Why don't you tell the viewers at home what weight you were when you started this regime? And the celebrity went, <laughs> when I started this regime, <laughs> when I started this regime, I was 10 stone. <laughs> I realised then that I'm aiming for her start weight. <laughs> but my friend said to me, just get some exercise equipment. If you buy it, you've got it at home, you'll use it all the time. And I thought, Bless her cotton socks, she's got no idea, has she? That's not how it works at all, is it? I've got a cross trainer that I've had for three years, I've used it twice, and I've got the feet level so I can put books on them. <laughs> but my friend said, get a treadmill. She said, treadmills are really good. Give us a cheer if you've never owned a treadmill. <laughs> exactly, because we clearly know something that she doesn't, that you can still have the benefits of a treadmill without having to actually buy a treadmill. All you need is some socks and a slippy floor. <laughs> what we'll do is we'll be sitting side by side on the sofa, me and me fella. He'll get up to get something, probably a packet of biscuits. And when he gets up, I just hold on to the back of his pants. <laughs> and he does this for a bit. And then I twang it back into place. He gets some exercise. I get a look at his ass, <laughs> Just like in a proper gym. <laughs> but I like 
like to eat. I don't think it's a fault to enjoy your food. Because you, if you enjoy your food? I sometimes think I might have a tapeworm, but that it's just full. Oh, yeah. I went into a milkshake shop and they had uh, on the wall like a menu of all the milkshakes that were on offer. And, uh, and I picked what I thought was clearly the best one, but it had a stupid name, but I thought, well, it's the best one, I'm going to have to ask for it. And the young lad behind the counter clearly knew what was coming, because he's already pissing himself. <laughs> and I built up all my courage and I went, can I have a large... Can I have a large shake what your mama gave you? <laughs> and my boyfriend, quick as a flash, just went, what, asthma? But I had a pie the other day. The other day. I had a pie every day. <laughs> and as I was eating it, I realised I was enjoying the pastry more than the meat. That's quite weird, isn't it? It's like somebody giving you a birthday card and you're keeping the envelope. <laughs> it does make sex a lot easier, though, because if I'm horny and on my own, I just suck a condom. <laughs> oh, that's a bit too much for some of you, isn't it? <laughs> But Severed Cock was champion, was it? <laughs> but I am trying to eat more healthily. I am trying. Uh, I went to the supermarket recently with my friend and uh, we wanted to get some crisps. And uh, we wanted to get the proper size bags, you know, not, not like the little ones that you get for when Bane's around. Um, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like the proper adult bags, you know, the ones that you've got to empty into a bowl <laughs> that you'd normally mix things in. My friend spotted that there was an offer on and she wanted Doritos and I wanted Sensations because I'm a bit posher than she is. And, uh, <laughs> but the two for one offer didn't go across brands and we were quite sad by that. And she said, you know what we should do? We should just, we should just get two bags of each. <laughs> and I grabbed her hand and I went, you know what? Sometimes you've just got to let these offers go. <laughs> but I, uh, I am trying to eat more healthily. I had an apple. Thank you. It's a couple of months ago. Uh, I'd put it in my handbag on an optimistic Monday. And by the Thursday, there weren't any Kit Kats left. And I was hungry, and I thought, I'm going to have to find this bloody apple. So I rooted around in my bag, and I found it. It was prematurely bruised and battered because it had been in my bag for so long. And it had pen on it. But I was starving. So I peeled off the clean panty liner, and I ate it. You know, it'd be great is if you liked and subscribed. I'm so needy. I'm so sorry. Uh, and why not come and see me live? And uh, the tickets are available at sarahwilkin.co.uk. Put the kettle on and settle in.